guys, how do you like my Spock inspired hairstyle? Yeah, I totally did this horrible haircut on myself on purpose because I really wanted to look like Spark, Spock, like Spock from Star Trek because that is a fashion statement and I completely did this on purpose. So let's just leave it at that. Um, just kidding, no. I did not do this on purpose. This was actually on accident. Every now and then when I cut my own bangs, I mess up. Well, usually I mess up. And everyone keeps telling me that, oh yeah, Anya, go to a salon. That would make your life so much easier. But then I'm like, oh, no, I don't want to. And to be honest, I've never been to a salon and I don't want to go because, I mean, you have to book it and then you have to show up and then I have to look sorta nice. And I would just rather have my hair done in the comforts of my own home. Which is why my sister cuts my hair and I cut my bangs. But usually I just do a ratchet job and butcher them anyway. Um, but yeah, you know, story of my life. So, uh, thank God it's actually Thanksgiving vacation so I can wait until this hair grows out. But, you know, might as well put up on YouTube for everyone to see, so, you know, it's fine. For eyeshadow, I want to use this Morphe 350 palette. Mine has been really butchered. Like, mine completely fell apart uh, because I'm using it so much. And I kind of wanted to do, like, another flashback Friday kind of thing. I don't even know if I'll post this on a Friday. We'll see about that. First, I want to use... This color right here for a transition color, by the way. I've seen a lot of attention focused specifically on the newer Morphe palettes, but honestly, I mean, this one is the one I have, um, and I just, I just, it works for me, and I don't really feel like buying any more new ones. So that's why I wanted to focus on this oldie but a goodie eyeshadow palette. I really like this a lot. It's one of my favorite palettes. So that's why I wanted to use it in this tutorial. And why am I rambling? I feel like I'm rambling. Okay, so now, um, okay, I feel like a lot of things in this tutorial might go wrong. We'll see about that. I think I'll be using this color, actually. And I'm using my M433 brush from Morphe. I want to see what will happen if I extend this out. Like that. Will it work? Will it not? We will see. I mean, that doesn't look bad, but let's just try on the other eye and see if it looks good. Train wreck! I feel like a freaking superwoman. <laughs> Is there a superwoman? I don't even know. If so, I'm her. Sorry, called it. Okay, I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know! I'm gonna add more color below that and see what happens. I've never done this before, I've never done anything like this, so I don't know how this will turn out. So for my crease, I'm just going to take this color, and I'm, I'm going to mix it with this orange color. I'm just going to add that to my crease. What? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, you know what? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little bit of this color. And I'm going to mix it with this. And this is going to define my eye, kind of. So I'm going to apply this into my outer crease and sort of drag it in. You know what? Makeup is all about experimentation a lot of the time. So every now and then I do try to experiment. Sometimes it works well. Sometimes it doesn't. Even if it doesn't work well, I still try to like plow through and get through it because sometimes it does turn out well. It's just with this, I'm not sure if it will turn out good. So you know what? Um, I'm going to keep going. And if I don't like it, if I really don't like the way this thing is working, then I'll just cover up with foundation when I put foundation on. But for now, I'm just going to work on the lid space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this color right here and just pop it into the center of my eyelid. Might as well put it in my inner corner as well, a tiny bit. I'm taking a little bit of this ColourPop Supernova Shadow Glitter and this is in the shade Walk of Fame. I'm going to take it with my finger. I'm going to put it right there, around the center of my lid, but really close to my lash line. Oh, what the heck, I'm just going to diffuse it up as well. 
So it's pretty much like all over the center of my eyelid. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to foundation because I cannot stand looking at that monstrosity. So, uh, but before that, I'm just gonna use a little bit of primer. I find that this e.l.f. primer, uh, the hydrating one, works really well specifically with the foundation that I'm gonna be using today. I mean, it's just one of those primers that just feels so good on the skin. And I don't know if it does anything with my longevity, but I do know that when I put it on, oh yeah. <laughs> I had eyeshadow on my fingers and now it's spread all over my face. That's fantastic, but you know what? We can cover it up later. <laughs> Look at my skin. Oh my god, I look so pink. Or orange or red. I don't even know anymore. Okay, well, what I, what I was going to say is I don't know about the longevity of this or, or how it helps with the longevity of my makeup, but I do know that when I put it under this Huda Beauty foundation, it does turn out looking quite nice. So that is what I'm doing. Hold on. I'm using this Real Techniques buffing brush or no, sculpting brush because I can't find my buffing brush that I use. It's okay. So around this area, I'm just going to use the brush just to soften it. So I mean, it still have like a little bit of that extension, but it's not like Wonder Woman or Superwoman or whatever the heck I wanted to do. Bam, boom, bam, boom. I'm going to lightly set my face with a little bit of powder now. Now I'm taking a small pencil brush and I'm taking this color right here from the Morphe palette and this is going to be like my defining shade. So I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line. You know what? I'm going to experiment a little bit and see if I can use this ColourPop eyeshadow. This is a super shock shadow in Fluffy and I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply this pretty much all over my eyelid. I'm applying it around this glitter right here that I applied earlier. I mean, obviously I don't want to apply it on top because that would be just weird. This is actually a very sheer eyeshadow and I like it like, because it has like, these really small, like really tiny particles of shimmer. So if you're looking for something that gives you like that glittery sort of effect, but that doesn't look too like in your face glitter, this is probably something to try out. You know what? I'm going to take even more of this ColourPop glitter thingamajiggy and I'm going to take it now with a brush. This is the e.l.f. concealer brush, but I use it as a, just a really small detail brush because it's just so tiny. And I'm going to apply this right along my lower lash line. So it sort of works as a highlight. To complete this inner like corner highlight idea, I'm taking a little bit of the Kylie Cosmetics highlight. This is like the loose pigment and this is uh, basically the lid. A lot of times when I use this I just like to use what I find in the lid because I feel like that just is a perfect amount. So I'm applying this into my inner corner and that is very beaming. Quickly for the rest of my face I'm taking a little bit of the... okay that just fell. For the rest of my face I'm taking a little bit of the Too Faced uh, Chocolate Soy Bronzer and I'm going in with this to basically just bronze up my skin a bit. I feel like I need a little bit of blush. So I'm taking this blush right here from the e.l.f. blush palette. I'm using the same highlight on my face as I was using on my eyes. <laughs> that is so strong. Oh my god. Sometimes you need to just blend out your hair that because it's so freaking intense. Such as in this case. Might as well put some on my nose. And for my lips, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna take my lip liner from uh, Wet n Wild. This is the Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner in the shade Bear to Comment. We're gonna line my lips. I feel like a disco ball. I'm ready to party. I'm feeling very hormonal. Excuse me. Ofra liquid lipstick in Bel Air. In case you were wondering. For the blast, let's use Fenty Beauty. And I'm going to 
quickly do my lashes now. For lashes, I'm using my Kiss Lashes in the Style Daisy. And that is it pretty much for this makeup look. So this is the finished product. This is what the lashes look like on. Um, very different than what I first envisioned. I thought this was going to be like a super simple makeup look. Didn't turn out that way. But yeah, so that is it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.